Hey girl, hey. Hi, my name is Claudine, also known as Glam Rocks. Here we will share laugh, achievements, disappointments, but most importantly, we will grow and glow together. I look forward to creating a safe environment here for all women. Please like and subscribe on the road to 1K. House rules. Every statement is in my opinion, and it is for entertainment let's get into this so arian is not going to be the first mistress or the last that continues to fight the wife and currently the ex-wife for a position for a status because the wife becomes the enemy to the mistress as if the wife owed her something the wife doesn't owe the mistress anything however Martel, I will guarantee Martel promised Ariane that they were going to be the couple on the show with their child. Because ain't no way this girl fighting the way she fighting against Melody as if Melody promised her that position on the show. If Martel knew him and Mel was the ones that started the show, it was their idea. He pushed her and whatever, whatever. I understand that, but you also made a promise to a mistress that you continually unacknowledge. Martel, it's for the streets. <laughs> and this bitch sitting up here trying to be on live and justify the fact that her nigga cheating with whoever the fuck he cheating with. This bitch on live, probably some were sad crying because her nigga ain't told her the truth. And I still worried about Martel saying I'm fi I'm fifteen percent the whole time. He's somewhere saying, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I love you. Fuck Martel. Like, what is wrong with y'all? If I wanted to walk a straight and narrow path, I'll be with Martel. Martel somewhere crying on live because I'm on live with my baby daddy, Paris daddy. Martel is for the streets. <laughs> and now her gripe is with the wife as if it's the wife fault. Like, <laughs> let me just go into a mistress mindset. Humor me for a minute, ladies. Just humor me. Let me just think like Ariane. It's, it's, it's hard. But let me just, just humor me. Um, Martel promised me that. I was I was gonna be the wife. He promised me a position on the show with with our child. Mel's supposed to be leaving that show. I'm supposed to be in that show. So you know what? You know what? I'm gonna drag her. I'ma go on so she can know every time I post that I'm sitting on his face. Yeah, I can't do it for long. But my point is Martel goes on unacknowledging this lady he goes on and promised her situations and she even said that he promised her certain things for her to fight so hard to get on the own network on love and marriage huntsville is because martel promised her that position so now her gripe her fight is with melody like what the heck free with somebody like his melody stop you stayed there for all the years this nigga just wasn't somewhere just disrespecting you like that like stop you were yes. there mm -hmm. like but now that it's bad and it's bitter then you want everybody to hate him but girl, yes. like, like you were there like martel he's not a bad person that's just period now how that show cuts and edits and that's why i was making sure i was saying shit being funny on shit and they gonna make y'all they gonna lead y'all to believe whatever the fuck and they they can go back right now with the same footage that y'all all done seen and, and go back and make it seem like melody was the worst wife in the World, but they didn't do that. Mm. They needed to boast her. They still do. They're not, they, they show her favoritism. They, they stay clean. They stay do you honestly think that you could have paid some producers, talk to Carlos, allegedly Stormy? Mm. All right. All right, now. To come onto the show to do what? Y'all, I don't get how this show would have gone if she ended up on the show. I know Carlos messy, but I don't think he that messy. He has an alliance with Mel, no matter how he acts, because he know that's where the money was, y'all. 
There's not one person on that cast other than Mel and Martell that could bring money to Love and Marriage Huntsville and status and fame and views and ratings like Melody does. Why do you think she not tonight? She's the first guest on his traveling circus. Mel getting to the bag, y'all. And he know this. And he know this. And with all the shenanigans, shenanigans, I'm sorry, going on. I need to calm down. Calm down, Claudine. He already know where the money resides. Where the money resides. So for Arianne to think that she would get on Mel's show boggles my mind. Because till this day, she hates this ex-wife because Martel probably put, uh, Martel promised her a position, allegedly. She's still not in that position. Marcel pro every position, the wife, the show, status, fame. She even told the CC my her glow up hasn't happened because she's not on the show. So you're trying to tell me your whole life stops because a married man lied to you and say you was about to glow up on his wife's show. Ma'am, I, I wouldn't even acknowledge that's my daughter because ain't no way. Ain't no way. Martel's not the first man to cheat and he's not going to be the last. They're just the ones that I'm reviewing the show right now because there's plenty of them. We can see even the situation. What's her name? LaToya? The, um, no, I think Toya's the sister. The one, the, the, the two sisters that was singing and the husband was caught with the mistress in Las Vegas. I can't think about the name. The mistress is back out like she wants to prove something. What are you going to prove? He didn't leave his wife. He promised you something that he didn't give you. This is what happens for my last video. When a mistress goes, promise goes unacknowledged, ungifted, they expose the husband or they self as if that is going to be better. No, it forces him to stay with his wife. Why do you think Martell is still in love with Mel? He know where his money and his favor resided. Now, look at this man looking, still looking like he out here allegedly robbing ATMs. Come on, y'all. Choir, church, can I get an amen? For any woman out there sleeping with a married man or with a man that is in a relationship, I hope you know the promises that he promised ain't coming. And when it does not come, don't blame the wife because you decided to believe him. The wife ain't your enemy. She should fight for her marriage. At least once. I'm not going to do it. But, and I didn't do it. But if you want to do it at least once, go ahead and fight. But the wife to all mistresses is not your problem. It's the man that promised you something. Okay? It ain't the wife. Until this day, Ariane is fighting for a position that's not going to be given. And for any mistress that has been chosen, how you sleep at night? I know your eye be one eye open because the way, baby, you got him is the way you're going to lose him. I bet you that man can't go to work without you thinking that he there. I bet you got to share um, your locations. You want to be up under him. I know you're scared. I know you can't sleep. One eye open. Your position's open, baby. Once you became chosen by a man who cheats, you're going to forever think he cheating. Congratulations. You've won a man who cheats. Congratulations. Anyway, drop down in the comments. Let's discuss this dialogue. I cannot wait to get to one case so we could go live. Um, I have an amazing panel. I have an amazing panel. But once I get to 1K, like and subscribe. Let's we're gonna do this. But anyway, please check out the shop and let's discuss in the comments. Have you ever been a mistress? How did that pan out? Have you been a wife that left a situation? Why do you think mistresses fight the wife so hard? Oh,